Okay guys, welcome back. And we are here today to discuss some uh, important pieces of information or nine things that you need to know about living in North Idaho. These are in no particular order, so let's get started. First and foremost, I think this is something that many people know, but if you're not familiar with North Idaho, one thing to know is recreation abounds. We have right outside our door, essentially, you hop on I-90 or you get on Highway 95 and you've got um, all sorts of summer activities like boating and camping and fishing and floating the river. We also have hiking, not only in town at Tubbs Hill, but you are within maybe a couple of hours, an hour to two hour drive of some of the most spectacular hikes in the country. Um, a lot of uh, variety in the hikes as well, and a lot of alpine lakes. And those are really great recreational activities. We also have um, winter activities, so snowmobiling, cross-country skiing, um, and those that like to hike typically get out their snowshoes in the winter and do a lot of those same trails. And of course, skiing, we have um, you know, four or five mountains within two hours of downtown Coeur d'Alene. And then also, and I can't forget this, there's a ton of hunting opportunities in North Idaho. A lot of people up here hunt, um, a lot of people up here fish and live off the land. So for those people that like to hunt, there's a ton of opportunity up here. So number two on the list is we have on average, a lot of people think because we're kind of Pacific Northwest that maybe there's a lot of gray and a lot of rain up here. So on average, we have about 121 days of precipitation in North Idaho. So that means that there's another, you know, 250 days where we don't have clouds in the sky or precipitation or snow. We have sunny, clear skies. So that's something that you should know is that we do have a chunk of winter weather, but we have even more sunny, clear days. So number three is um, we are right next to Spokane. Coeur d'Alene is a bedroom community of the larger metropolitan area of Spokane. But what's nice about Coeur d'Alene is we are far enough away and we do live on this huge lake and we're surrounded by all this, um, you know, nature. Um, we have that small town feel, that really clean, um, really uh, cute, quaint, small town, resort town feel. Um, but if we need, you know, uh, a Nordstrom's or a mall or you know Trader Joe's or you want to go to a sporting event or a concert we have Spokane right there now Spokane does have a little bit um, higher crime rate um, they do deal with uh, a, a few more um, uh, struggles than we do especially with you know uh, homeless population and things like that so you get the the things that you have in the big cities and it's only 30 minutes away, 45 minutes away, and then you get to come home here to Coeur d'Alene and still maintain that really cute, clean, quaint, like high, high quality of life lifestyle um, that you don't get in the larger metropolitan areas. Um, number four on the list are our plethora of winter activities. Like I mentioned, um, recreation abounds, but in the winter time, one thing I tell people, especially when they're moving here, is winters are a little longer here. Um, I grew up in Southern Idaho and in Boise, it's pretty mild in the winter. Uh, they're high desert down there and they definitely get all four seasons, but up here, we have a longer winter. Um, so one thing I recommend to a lot of people is figure out a winter activity. Otherwise, you're spending a lot of time indoors um, come winter time and one of the best reliefs, but also one of the best ways to explore North Idaho is to see it in the winter time. So get out and go skiing. Um, get out and go cross country skiing at the golf courses um, or some of the spots at the local ski hills. Um, you know, tubing up at Silver Mountain, which we visited before. Um, you've got Lookout, which is right down I-90, 45 minutes, door to door pretty much, and Schweitzer, uh, Mount Spokane, 49 degrees north, and snowmobiling. That's a huge activity because we've got so much 
recreational land and state land and trails. Um, and we do get quite a bit of snow. There's a huge snowmobiling community here. So winter activities abound. Um, and also winter is not as bad as everyone makes it out to be here in North Idaho slash kind of the Pacific Northwest. We do get a good amount of snow, but it's very manageable. So don't be afraid of that. Number five on the list, there are three private airports in North Idaho. The biggest one is here in Coeur d'Alene. It's Poppy Boynton Field. And they, this year, are expected to host almost 100,000 flights or um, 100,000 operations. Um, there is a there is a uh, airport in Sandpoint and another uh, commercialish airpoint airport, excuse me, um, in Bonners Ferry. But the largest of those uh, private airports being here in Coeur d'Alene. Now, another thing to note too, like I said, we're not we're just right next door to Spokane. We have an international airport in Spokane, which is 45 minutes away. Um, a lot of places that have this small town vibe or this more rural kind of scenery, you could spend two or three hours driving to your nearest airport. If you live in Wyoming, you're driving hours to the nearest airport in some places. So we are really lucky here to kind of be, to kind of have that remote feeling, but have easy access. Um, so number six on the list, um, we are just south of Canada. So. Our proximity, Coeur d'Alene, Sandpoint, Bonners Ferry, Canada, we're about an hour and a half to the border. Now, a lot of people love the fact that we have the ability to go to Canada. Um, you definitely have to have a passport um, or you know, birth certificate and a driver's license to get through, but there's a ton of stuff going on up in Canada. Um, lots of small towns, uh, wineries, lakes. So it gives a nice option in terms of travel and exploring um, to have Canada right there. So um, next on the list is we have in North Idaho, 140, 140 bodies of water. 18 of those lakes are in Kootenai County and there are 2,000 miles of rivers and streams. And I say this because we have a lot of water up here. Um, in other places like California, Nevada, we all know and we hear about the droughts, um, but up here we have a ton of water. We have amazing aquifers, tons of rivers, tons of streams. And not only is that great for our community, it's also incredibly scenic, but it also provides for a ton of recreation. So if you're an outdoorsy person and you like to be on the water, we've got 140 plus options for you. Okay, next on the list is, I wanna just note how safe and clean North Idaho is. Um, even though we're a kind of smaller, this whole Kootenai County area is definitely kind of a smaller metropolitan area, between Coeur d'Alene, Post Falls, Hayden, Rafterham, Athol, and Spirit Lake, we have about 160,000 people that live in this Kootenai County, North Idaho area. Um, and then you can add in, you know, Bonner County, Boundary County, we've probably got a 200,000 people that live in the Panhandle. Um, so it definitely is a populated area, but it's incredibly clean, it's incredibly safe. I live in downtown Coeur d'Alene, which is, you know, kind of the urban area of North Idaho. Um, and I can walk around, I can walk home, um, I can walk around at night, I can walk home at night, I can, you know, I know friends that go on jogs early in the morning. Um, as a woman, I feel safe here. Um, we have a very low crime rate and things are very clean. Um, so that's one thing that I think just really adds to the quality of life. We're not stressing here about our safety. And that is something that I know we take for granted and I know a lot of people are looking for. And then last thing on the list is I like to note because you can't really look this stat up anywhere. It's not on a map. Um, it's not a demographic, but North Idaho 
Um, again, I'm from Southern Idaho. I know a lot of people that have moved here as a realtor. Obviously, I deal with a lot of people that move from different areas, um, much larger areas, much smaller areas. But one thing I know personally and one thing I hear consistently from people around town is that we have a sense of community here that just doesn't exist in a lot of areas. We have um, an incredible amount of philanthropy. There is always some sort of fundraiser going on. We've got an immense amount, uh, immense number of nonprofits around town that are here to support the underserved in our community, like um, you know, single mothers and children. Um, we've also got um, uh, you know. Uh, court appointed special advocates for kids that are going through the foster care system. We've got um, United Way and CDA helping the people in our hospitality industries um, stay afloat. Uh, there is there is a, a big focus on the quality of life here and the ability to try and keep, keep things affordable, um, to bring in jobs, and to serve the community and make it better. Um, there's a ton of involvement from business owners and from stakeholders and people are very involved in, you know, city council meetings and county commissioner meetings and things like that. So we have a community here that cares a lot. And when something happens or when we need something as a community, it's amazing to see the people that come together and the funds that are raised to help support some of these endeavors. So this is not something that you can, can read about or like I said, find on a map or find a stat about. But one thing I can tell you is we live in a very giving community and it's very tight knit and there is, a, there, there is this desire to increase the quality of life for everybody here. And that's not something you find in a lot of places. So um, again, that is another thing that I know that we take for granted, but I also know is something that makes us such a beautiful, healthy, strong community. So if those things are important to you, um, we've got them all here. Like I said, recreation, um, the weather, we've got uh, proximity to a lot of amazing things, and then we've got our quality of life. So if you enjoyed this content, make sure to subscribe and like this video or share it. If you have your own ideas about things to know in North Idaho, make sure to leave a comment and we'll try and talk about that next time. Thanks for joining me and have a great day.